Currently, there is a four viewport layout in the work area. You may or may not have the same layout. You can easily toggle between a single viewport and multiple viewports. To do so, press the Alt W keyboard shortcut. This toggles between four viewports and a single viewport. Press Alt W so that you have four viewports. You can see that the perspective viewport is the active viewport, as indicated by the yellow border around it. One of the viewport features is the availability of a gradient background, which can be seen in the current perspective viewport. To ensure that you are starting from the same viewport configuration, click the arrow just above the Quad 4 layout on the Viewport Layout tab toolbar. The Viewport Layout tab toolbar allows you to store multiple alternate viewport layouts that you can change at any time. From the flyout, click the Quad Viewport Layout to add a new layout to the toolbar. Before saving the viewport layout, you can make some changes to the viewport grid settings. First, turn the grid off in the front and the left viewports. To do this, move your cursor into the front viewport, right click to make that viewport active, and then press the G key on the keyboard to turn off the grid. This is the keyboard shortcut that toggles the grid on and off. Repeat the same process in the left viewport. Move your cursor into the left viewport, and again, right click and press G to turn off the grid. Now right click in the perspective viewport. This makes it the active viewport when 3ds Max loads or when the program resets. Next, you need to change the grid layout because right now the grid spacing is set to 10 inches. The new configuration will better suit your needs for these lessons. Move your cursor up into the middle of the main toolbar over the 3D Snap button. Right click, and in the Grid and Snap Settings dialog, select the Home Grid tab. Set the grid spacing to 1 inch. Make sure that when you type it, you use the double quote on the keyboard to represent the inch mark. Otherwise, your spacing may be incorrect. Press Enter. Next, set the major grid lines to every twelfth line. This doesn't correspond to inches. It means that every twelve grid lines you will have what is called a major grid line, which is a slightly darker, bolder line. Type 12 in the Major Lines field and press Enter. In the Perspective viewport, you will set up your grid to occupy 80 feet by 80 feet. Here, you will need to type the number of inches into the perspective view grid extents value. This option counts the spaces and not inches and feet. Therefore, you have to specify the number of grid spaces that you want the perspective view grid to occupy. With the grid spacing set to 1 inch, enter 960 into the perspective view grid extent value. This sets the grid spacing and grid size for the viewports. Close the Grid and Snap Settings dialog. Now, save this viewport layout. Right-click the New Layout icon. In the Name type-in box, enter the name 4-View 1-Inch Grid. Now this can be saved to a new preset. Right-click and select Save Configuration as Preset. Next time the preset flyout is opened, the 4-view 1-inch grid preset will be available for you to use.